Hey, Nelson George with another Follow the Sound. Uh, that sign behind me over there says 240 Mercer Street. Uh, it's uh, right now, this whole building is an NYU dorm for law students. Uh, but for much of the 20th century, this space at 240 Mercer, in fact, this entire block from Mercer over to Broadway was on, uh, on 3rd Street, West 3rd Street, was the University Hotel which was a very grand building, uh, once a site of uh, robber barons and old school elegance, that uh, fell in, like a lot of New York, fell into serious disrepair by the 60s and by the 70s was a welfare hotel known more for uh, muggings and drug dealing than uh, art and architecture. Well, uh, one man's had a vision, the guy who owned the village gate, Art Lugov, um, which is gate actually about three, four blocks away from here, knew that there was a big ballroom in here and as well as a lot of old meeting rooms, particularly on the first and second floor. And so he basically um, took them over, renovated them, and turned them into the Mercer Arts Center. And from 1971 to 1973, it was a real vibrant center for, for innovation in art and in music and performance here uh, downtown New York. Uh, excuse me. Um, the kitchen, the, the long enduring avant-garde performance and art institution began here at the Mercer Art Center before moving on to another, a number of other locations. That's a really enduring part of the legacy of this site. The other is that uh, it was before CBGB's and before um, Max's Kansas City, this was kind of like the center of the young New York bands that got associated with punk rock. The New York Dolls, the most lauded of all those bands, uh, you know, was David Johansson, his lead singer, used to do Tuesday night gigs here at the Mercer Art Center. But literally, it all came crashing down on August 3rd, 1973. Uh, around 2 o'clock, people noticed there were cracks in the walls. Bricks started falling out of the building. The, the call to evacuate went out. And literally, this entire building collapsed on the Broadway. Boom. Uh, by five o'clock or so. Uh, four people died in the rubble. Uh, obviously, this building never came back and neither did the Mercer Art Center. But uh, the legacy between the kitchen and the New York Dolls is pretty enduring in New York uh, culture. And uh, the building has stayed on, obviously, uh, taking care of generations of NYU students. Uh, one of the most spectacular endings of any of the uh, uh, buildings that um, I've documented so far and follow the sound. This is Nelson George, follow the sound, uh, more stories to come, please subscribe, uh, follow the sound, always.